Today, we'll be going over a common Instagram Reels issue that many people are running into and how you can avoid this to get, make the most out of your workflows with repurpose.io and Instagram Reels. So as you should probably know already, you should probably be Im implementing Instagram into your marketing strategy, whether it's from TikTok to Instagram or YouTube to Instagram. Instagram is an awesome platform to have your content, especially with video and Instagram Reels. And we are a huge advocate for using Instagram Reels. So we can automatically publish or schedule content directly to Instagram Reels. And I'll be showing you exactly how to do this. And there's one simple mistake that many people make that can pretty drastically change what your content looks like and the results of your content as well. So I'll be going into that. But when when you make this mistake, it makes these black lines on your uh, reel section. So if you go to reels, and this is an example, you see these black lines that aren't supposed to be there. This is what it should normally look like right here, where it takes up the full screen. But when you do this mistake, there's the um, black lines on the side, and it kind of looks a little bit odd and weird. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to do this correctly so that you don't have this same error. So when you log in to your account, like I said, these are all our workflows. Obviously, we have a bunch of um, different platforms that I love to use. And I think that you should definitely consider doing that as well. But when you are setting up your Instagram workflow, um, all you have to do is create a new workflow. And while we're waiting for that, it can be um, whatever source you want to. You just want to make sure that you have your source content. Most people will be TikTok. And then for this example, we're going to be having it go to Instagram. So I'm going to be doing TikTok uh, content to Instagram Reels. Okay. And you hit next. So now uh, step two is uh, choose your source. So we're going to do TikTok as the source. And then we will hit next. Action, you want to make sure it's upload video and do the full video. Um, some people get caught up here because they click snippets. You don't want snippets. You want the full video. And then this is where people often make this mistake to make your Instagram reels look a little bit strange with the black sides on it. They click Instagram as the destination. They choose which, whichever account. So we can do mine. And then they do feed or stories, right? You want to make sure that it's on reels. This right here will make it look really odd on your Instagram account. So make sure that it's on reels, not feed. And a lot of times people get that um, mixed up. And so when you have reels, I'll show you here on the options on how you can still put it to your feed, uh, but make sure that you have reels selected and then you press done. Okay, that's it. This one option right here is where people often make the mistake. So I'm not gonna press done because I already have my workflow, but I do wanna show you guys what it looks like um, when you go into the settings to make sure that you can actually have your Instagram reel still go to your feed if you want to. So you click on the little cog on the right side, and then there's a lot of cool options that you can have. You can do, you want it to be the original video, no resizing. Um, I always have auto publish on. Um, these are some cool settings that you can, um, I've made a couple of videos on. But what you want to have highlighted right here is share to Instagram feed. And this is normally already um, enabled. So if you don't want it to go to your feed, you just take that off. And then I also put Instagram notification and auto trim video to fit your destination. So these are just my settings. Um, but if you still want your video to go to the feed, then you simply select that one and then you press save. So hopefully this kind of helps you with your Instagram reels so you don't make that common mistake that we see on the back end so many times. Sometimes the smallest little tweaks can make a big difference. So let us know if you learned anything in this video and if you have any questions for future videos, make sure to let us know in the comments down below.